Hello to all. First of all, I would like to wish you a happy new year. Uh, 2025 has arrived. And on our end at Prime Tech, uh, we have a lot of going on uh, with the new theme designer, the updates for the component libraries, the Prime Rec 11, Prime NG20, the Prime U5, and the next generation Prime Face version, the advanced component suite for some complex components and uh, the new blocks update for libraries and so much going on and the first uh, let's say avenger is the theme designer that i was personally working i've been work personally working on this since uh, like last month in uh, beginning of december now it's at the stage where i'll be able to present it so let's begin it will be initially available for prime view and then uh, by the end of january hopefully uh, it will arrive at Prime NG as well. And for Prime React, we need the version 11 with the new theming. So uh, we already have a basic proof of concept design at the website. If you go there now, uh, before the update comes. And uh, now, but this one is the new production ready version that it has a lot of capabilities. And let's see. Okay, now let's go to the new designer. Let me open up a component like input text a very basic one, and this is the designer. So uh, it will be a paid product, but there's no paywall in customizing the theme. If you go to the prime theming, then you will be able to customize it the way you like it. There's a lot of tutorials and documentation, but if you like to prefer it visually, then uh, the new visual theme editor will be, uh, will be very helpful. And you know, um, we are not, we haven't decided the tiers and the pricing yet, but you would need to purchase a designer uh, license. But without license, you can of, of course experience it, but I'm going to activate it just in case I would like to show you some additional features. So the free tier, will you will be able to uh, visually customize everything, but you're not able to download. That's the main thing. And uh, probably there will be two tiers, the, you know, solo basic tier and the extended tier. Extended tier is where the Figma comes in so that you are able to um, export your Figma tokens from our Figma UI kit and import it here so that you'll be able to generate themes automatically since, but you know, we have been working on this for probably over a year. The dream was to able to generate themes from Figma. Now it's here, but it took like a year. So let's create a new theme. Uh, there are two ways to generate a theme. First one is using one of the uh, pre-built ones, and the other one is importing a Figma token file. If you have the Figma UI kit, uh, your designer will be able to customize it using the tokens, and then at that point, there will be a handoff process. That's where this tool comes in, but that one for later. So we have a primitive token section and the semantic section where you'll be able to customize every, for example, input text, one REM, now they are bigger. But in case you'd like to override it, let's revert it. If you check out the component, now each component has, a, is in its own tab, there's a section to customize its own theme. So let's find out, uh, let, Actually, this is a nice tool to learn this theming API as well. For example, uh, let's check out the padding, which derives its value from form field. But now I'm able to customize it here, uh, which will only apply to the input text component. So any other component uh, that does not use input text will, be, will not get affected. For example, um, let's also check out uh, these parts, you know, they are all the same. They are, you know, the surfaces and everything, they are the same here. And if you like to check out this, this part, the custom, this is where the custom tokens that you can generate to extend this theming. So for example, selection background, you can use, let's call it pink, let's call it save. And if you go to, for example, a list box, for example, in the list box, we have the compound like the um, selected background. It derives it from the list option, but you can also use here, sorry, uh, selection background. And 
if you choose select and it will be pink now, of course you have other tokens so if you spend more time than I did, of course you can generate a more beautiful uh, uh, theme, hopefully. For example, let's remove this padding here. And there are a lot of expects and more themes are coming up. So custom tokens are there. And in the settings section, uh, you know, our website uses 14 pixels, but you can easily customize it to make it bigger or smaller. Uh, so that if you're selling on a base font, you can experience it here. And you have a lot of uh, fonts to choose from. The prime UI libraries don't have don't have any opinion on this. They you, you'll, You're able to uh, use it with any font family because they drive their values from the document, just like the uh, font. So font size and font family, there are no tokens. They just drive their values from uh, the main document. So that... But we have just added uh, numerous font families here so that you can experience different uh, fonts. And one nice feature that I'm very happy, the, the result was really fine. I took some time to finish this, but the migration assistant, it just, for example, uh, suppose that there's a new version of the Prime libraries out and then you need to update it. So you need to work out some you know missing tokens to see but this tool will do it for you for example let me show you it from uh, the figma so i have a figma file figma token so your designer handed this uh, handed over this tokens file that i uh, eventually have so this is a token file and let's generate this theme so the error is there are missing tokens so in case there's an outdated version of the Figma UI kit, your the the Figma uh, the token file has some missing tokens. So you know, let's try. So, so this one settings, load. So let's click preview, and the error message: there are missing tokens. You may add them automatically using the migrate option. So these are the missing tokens um, that may cause problems. So the Figma token file is outdated or your team is outdated because the version you use, you're trying to migrate to a newer version. In that case, you can choose migrate and magically your theme is updated. Then, of course, you can go and download it. Where is it? Yeah, the Figma zip. This is a team name. And if you open this file, we have our team here. So now you can see that this is the index file. Of course, you can just comment out some of the components that you don't use. And but since you have full control, for example, what we did for input text, remember, it was a uh, two aria somewhere. Ah, uh, no, we did it for the other team. Right. Uh, but every change you have made individually, you will be able to download it and you can copy this project to your local project and then start using this theme. And the nice thing about it is that they are saved on the cloud so that anytime you're able to access the visual theme designer and download it. Of course, if you are, you are able to delete uh, themes, you can duplicate themes in case you like to try new things or if you'd like to have a backup before migrating and you can also download them from here as well. And you, there's a rename functionality, other team. Uh, so that's it for now. Uh, the th this project will be online in like two weeks and we are quite excited about it. Hopefully you found this uh, tool um, useful as well. And uh, before purchasing, you may of course uh, experience with the visual designer online. Again, this is, will be initially available for Prime View and then uh, Prime NG and Prime React of course. So thank you and see you on the next video.